So today's video is going to be very low effort because of my like, just because of reasons. But um, this video, we're going to be weighing every single new sparking system um, release. So let's just go down right here. We found ourselves a scale and um, I just found it in like the other room. So yeah, we're going to be weighing um, a bunch of uh, bays, uh, the sparking bays, the new sparking, the Lego sparking bays, like this guy right here, Hyperion. And this is just like to see um, how much they weigh, so we can finally find out why some bays suck. So yeah, we're gonna weigh Hyperion, which this is the average weight right here of 27 grams. That's not too bad. Um, of course, the next release was Helios, who weighs around 25 grams, so a little bit lighter than Hyperion. Um, next we got Lucifer, who weighs around ooh, 26, right in the middle, okay. So th that's like the average weight. These very average um, weight. But then we get to Ragnarok, who I've weighed this guy before. It's so light, it, he weighs 22 grams. That definitely explains not only why this thing always gets KO'd. Um, it's like the other reason why. The first reason being like this driver sucks. Uh, moving right along, um, I believe the next release was Minaboros, and Minaboros um, weighs around, ooh, 28 grams, so this is the current heaviest. Actually, scratch that, this is, um, now, the, at the time that these bays released, this was the heaviest, but now it is, we got Spriggan, who is 30 grams, and 30 is, like, good weight. If your bay weighs 30 grams, and it's all plastic, like, that's insane. Um... Moving on, I believe the next release was Dragon, which Dragon is a whopping 32 grams. But most discs don't weigh as much as Dragon. Like, of course, there's things like Over and whatnot. But, like, 30, 32, that's really hard to hit. Uh, oh, I bumped my camera. It's really hard to hit with um, just plastic base, so. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I believe the next release was... Uh, actually exo so here is extreme exo who weighs again 30 grams uh pretty good weight and that makes sense because of the metal balls you got in there and also it's a very chunky layer and stuff so that makes sense um next was actually the random booster so um we're gonna weigh the hyperion recolor which i think is also oh no 29 grams okay it's definitely like the chassis um, we have the Minaboros recolor, which also has the Volcanic Driver now, if you've seen the short that I probably just posted. Uh, yeah, still 25 grams, that's like, okay. And then we also got, um, Hercules, who is, um, 27. Alright, nice, that, that is pretty reasonable. And of course, we have the newly released Fafner. That's not good weight. Um, but, that was all of the weighings for all of these bays. And, um, if you're curious, um, we have Mystic Valkyrie here. Um, the metal version, not the, um, sparking version, because, um, like, I, I'm, I'm working on a sparking Valkyrie right now, so, you know, I made this into, like, a sparking bay, just to hold you guys over, but we have the metal version, which, um, will weigh all of the individual parts, um, but the layer is 27, the disc is about 14, and the, um, base is, like, 11 grams, so... Overall, this guy's weight is crazy. It's a whopping 53 grams. Like, that's really good weight. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that most Hasbro bays don't weigh this much. I'm pretty sure that most, like, um, uh, Chosy bays don't weigh this much. Or maybe, maybe I'm wrong, who knows. But, yeah, that was all of the, um, weights for, um, these bays. Specifically, Sparking and just Mystic Valkyrie, because why not? Um, if you guys want to see, like, individual part weighings, um, I'm probably not going to do that, but, um, yeah, that was just a quick little video, and, uh, yeah, comment, like, subscribe to whatever you want, I'll see you in the next video.